<laughs> you want to start a business. You want to quit your job. You want to do all of that stuff. And I'm going to tell you why that's really a bad idea. If you've never started a business, if you've never developed a sales process, there's a three to 10 year scaling up acclimation process. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't make money while you're doing this. It's just you're not going to make as much money. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Which could be detrimental to your business. I know that you're sick of your job. I know you want to quit your job. I know you want to be free. But quitting your job, starting a business, and the business and your lifestyle are dependent upon one income stream. That is problematic because, look, you're a smart cookie. You want your independence. I totally get that. But you're not an experienced cookie. That makes all the difference in the world. If you are experienced, you can have a year where you're just figuring it out as you go and you make $30,000. But if you had two to three or four years of experience, that same year that you made 30,000, you can make 250 K. That's the difference between experience and no experience. You'll make hustle money or in some locales, this is full time income. But if you really want to scale your business, what you should do is start a hustle first. Keep your job and hustle your hustle to it's at a point within the first year where you're consistently making four figures. This could be twelve hundred bucks a month. This could be eight to nine thousand dollars a month. But you still want to keep your job. And this is why you have a life. You have student loan payments, you have a mortgage, you have rent, you have car payments. Maybe you have kids, maybe you have child support. So you have obligations that must be paid. If you don't pay your mortgage, goodbye. You don't pay your car, the snatching man is going to come in the middle of the night and take it. So you need to have your job as your life money. This is what pays for my life. Then you need to have your business where it can reinvest profits back into the business to grow the business. This is where many people go wrong. I was listening to this video and this girl said that she was pulling $250,000 out of her business every month. It was a lifestyle brand and she was selling a digital product. What's going to happen? is sooner or later there's going to be a road bump in that business. And it's going to be because she has not reinvested a lot of that money. $250,000 is a lot of money per month. But you're also paying a lot of taxes if you're taking about almost 100K in taxes. Whereas if she was downgrade her expectations and live on 25,000 a month, which you can live in New York, California, you can, learn, you can live anywhere in the world on $25,000 a month. I'm talking about baller style. But once again, people do what they do. I live on far less than what I bring in because I know there's an ebb and flow of business. Plus, I don't want to pay taxes on all that money. If you have this business, that's, let's go ahead and talk about examples. Let's say you have on the side, and we're going to talk about what you do. You have a mobile detail business. And what you do is you keep your job. You hire a manager and you hire employees. So from jump, you're not the business. You are the manager. You're the owner of the business. To keep that manager, to keep those employees takes all of the money. And you virtually get nothing. That's a good way to grow a company because what's going to happen first year, you might elk out an extra nine to 10,000 people. Oh, that ain't exciting. That's very exciting because what's happening is from year one to year two to year three. Now all of a sudden this business is making 
100K, 200K, 300K. You still have your job, but more importantly, you still have time because you're not part of the business. You're not part of it. And that's one of the ways if you have a job that provides you enough income to do something like that. Plus, then you have to become a manager and then you have to become very good at hiring people. That's just one. Or let's say you, you have a job where you're making $13.50 an hour. There is no money to pay anyone. That's just barely enough money for you to live. Maybe you're not even living. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep that $13.50 job, 50 cent job per hour. And then you're going to do double time. You're either going to get another job or you're going to get a hustle that you can make money very quickly. Resale, eBay, something that you can literally make a thousand or maybe two thousand dollars per month. While keeping your job, I have to keep saying that because everyone wants to escape. Everyone wants to leave. Everyone wants to have their own business. But everybody's not qualified to have their business. Like you go for a job, says this job for a CEO of a biotech company. You don't even apply. You know you don't have the skills. She's like, wow, that's nice. Wow, salary 500K, that, ooh, that'd be nice. You don't even apply. You don't even think about it. You just keep flipping. But for some reason, many people feel that they could start a business. Well, here is the most elegant way I can put it to you. Just like that CEO, biotech CEO, requires certain skill sets for him to be successful, so does any business. Right now, we're going through a recession. Yes, parts of the country are already in recession. And this is going to be probably worse than the last one. And how do I know this? I have my own signals, things that I look at. And one of them is I'm currently looking at property. And I see property after property after property $30,000 decrease, $50,000 decrease, 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 all over the place. Just watch the video. California real estate agent. He's scared. It's coming. And this is one of the best times to ever start a business. Yes, you want to start your business during the recession. Yes, because then when the good times come, you'll have the perspective of what the bad times were. You'll be starting in the right way. Plus, you'll start small. You'll start well capitalized because you're keeping your job. You're building the business with cash flow. You're not taking out loans. You're not business credit before you have business credit skills. I've seen this happen. Friend of mine recently ignored my advice, went out, got business credit, had a good job, high credit score, got Chase Inc., American Express, got all the business credit cards, went to four different banks, got $25,000 lines of credits across four banks. Then he quit his job and he went into business. It lasted nine months. Now he's in debt to the tune of $230,000. Now, fortunately for him, he was able to get a job very quickly because he has certain skills. But now he's got literally a six to $7,000 credit card loan payments every month. This is what happens when you start a business and you don't have business skills, business experience. Let's be clear, this isn't about you being dumb. This is about you being unqualified. So how do you go from unqualified to qualified? You actually run a business, but you run it really small. Because what's gonna happen to you? This is how I've built my businesses. This is how I've gained my business experience by starting off small, no debt and taking my lumps and taking my L's and making all kinds of mistakes. But see, because I was small, the mistakes were small. I gave myself time to go from unqualified 
to qualified. When I was doing my very first business, I had a job for almost two years. GC Solutions. While I was running this business, I still had a job. Do y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Let this notion go that because you saw YouTuber XYZ, Instagram or 876, Facebook, let this go. You don't know the story behind their success. You don't know all the details. There's what they tell you and there's what really is. And because you're not privy to this information, you go for the okie doke. He's like, well, I'm going to follow this person and that person and I'm going to reverse engineer. How can you reverse engineer something when you don't have all of the pieces of the chessboard? You might see that pawn, you may see that king, but you don't have all of, of the pieces, so it's hard to play the game. And I'm telling you, you don't have all the pieces because when I go in, there are some people right now who are doing killing it on social media. And when this recession comes in full force, you're going to see a lot of them disappear because they made their money during the good times when everybody was fat with cash. People throwing money at here, here, get this dollar, cash this hundred. Here you go. Throwing money at them. What's going to happen when that money source dries up? I have been through three recessions and each recession. I kept going. Now, I had a job and I was in healthcare, So that was the first one. I actually got a really nice job during the recession because I had the appropriate skill sets. What's going to happen is. If you want to, if you want your millions and they, they are possible. You can get your millions. They're, they're out there. You can get your millions. But you're not going to get them tomorrow. You're not going to get them even next year or even the year after that. For you to get your millions, you're looking at seven to 11 years. But in the meantime, in the between time, year one through year four should set you above average income. So you living nice, driving what you want to drive, living where you want to live, eating how you want to eat. So it's a lot easier to be patient when you live in good versus being patient when you hate everything about your life. That's why many people start a business. I don't want to work for the man. I ain't trying to work for the man. My name's Johnny Johnson. I'm an alpha male. I don't have any skills. But I'm an alpha male. Give me my millions. That's been another topic for disruptive male. What I want to say to you is if you are willing to invest in you, you can make it happen. If you're willing to work hard for some years, you can have your piece of the American dream. You can have that big house. You can have that Porsche or Lambo, whatever you want, whatever tickles your fancy. You can have all of that. But what's going to be real interesting as you go on this journey, many of the things that you were thirsty for because you couldn't get them and you just didn't see it. Once you get them, you, you go, I don't really want that. I want this because you will be actually what you'll be operating from a position of I can do this versus I hope to do this. It's a totally different game. So to help you with that. I'm going to give you the first module of 30 days to 2500 for free. Click below, get that link. And if you like it, I'll send you a coupon for the rest of the course. So just letting you know what we can do, because one of the things is, and I want you to understand, I can give you the best information in the world. But if you don't act upon it, if you don't do it, if you don't put some skin in the game, you it ain't nothing. And I'm going to tell you, you are not going to become wealthy, paid or any of this stuff without taking action. Unless you Amber Rose. But then, oh, wait a minute. She took some action. She really did. I hear it was good, too. But with that, subscribe, like, comment, 
hit me up in the comments and tell me, what do you think about this way of starting to hustle, scaling it up, then quitting your job and building a business? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to go ahead and get the first module of 30 days to 2,500. We'll talk to you later. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a guy with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Well, I love that little girl with the bright red hair. Bye.